living and non-living things. There are many things in our surroundings such as human beings, plants, animals, bicycles, houses, stones, roads, benches, the sun, the moon, the stars, etc. These things can be categorized as living things and non-living things. Some of the non-living things are natural things while others are made by humans and are called man-made things. Natural things Nature provides us many things which are either living or non-living things. Humans, plants and animals are living things. Stones, the sun, water, air, etc. are non-living things. Remember, we cannot make these things ourselves. Man-made things Things which are made by humans are called man-made things. Bicycles, houses, roads, benches, cars, scooters, etc. are the examples of man-made things. Thus, natural things and man-made things are the two types of things found in our world. Living and non-living things as described earlier, natural things include living things and some non-living things. Things such as humans, animals and plants that have life are known as living things. Things such as water, mud, stones, etc. which have no life are known as non-living things. All man-made things are non-living things because they do not have life. There are many differences between living and non-living things. Living things need food. As we know, living things cannot survive without food. If they do not get food for a very long time, they will die. Food helps all living things to grow and live. Food also gives us energy needed to work and play. Like us, animals and plants also need food to stay alive. Animals get their food from plants and other animals. Plants make food for themselves with the help of air, water and sunlight. Does your book or pencil eat any food? No. They do not eat food. Non-living things do not need food because they are lifeless. Living things grow. All living things grow. Observe a photograph of yourself when you were born. You can see a very small baby in that picture. Compare the picture with your present self. When you were born, you were very small. Since then, you have been growing continuously. After some years, you will grow into an adult. Like us, plants and animals also grow. Seeds grow into plants and chicks grow into cocks or hens. Can you name non-living thing which grows? Your book, your pencil, your doll, your bicycle. None of them grow at all. So, all living things grow while non-living things do not grow. Living things move. Most of living things move. We walk to different places. A dog walks or runs here and there. A bird flies in the air. And a deer runs very fast in the forest. Plants do not move like us or animals, but you can observe that they can move some parts. Have you seen a sunflower? It turns its face towards the sun. You can also observe the movement of the leaves of a touch-me-not plant when you touch it. Living things breathe. 
keep your hand in front of your nose you will feel the air coming out of your nose at regular intervals now hold your breath for a few seconds with your fingers you will feel uncomfortable now release your nose you will start to take in deep breaths at once it shows that we cannot live if we do not breathe in like us animals and plants also breathe to live most animals breathe through their nose frog breathes in water through its skin and breathes through its lungs when it is out of water fish breathe through their gills grasshoppers cockroaches ants etc breathe through spiracles present in their bodies plants do not have a nose like humans but they have very small holes on their leaves called stomata they breathe through stomata have you ever seen a book or a pencil breathing air no non living things do not breathe living things feel when you touch anything you feel that the thing is rough or smooth hard or soft you can also feel whether that thing is hot or cold like us animals can also feel cold heat or pain they can also feel danger they search for their food with the help of their sense organs plants can also feel they do not have sense organs but they can feel the changes around them sunflowers turn towards the sun the leaves of the touch me not plant close immediately when we touch the plant now think about your cricket ball does it cry when you hit it with your bat no it never cries because it is a non living thing and so does not feel anything living things reproduce all living things such as humans animals and plants reproduce and produce young ones of their own kind humans and most animals give birth to babies while plants produce seeds this process is called reproduction a cow gives birth to a calf a cat gives birth to a kitten similarly donkeys monkeys goats rabbits etc also give birth to their babies some animals such as snakes birds and insects reproduce by laying eggs their babies hatch from these eggs most plants reproduce with the help of their seeds when the seeds fall on the ground they grow into new plants with the help of sunlight air and water some plants such as potatoes gingers roses etc produce new plants from different parts of the plant such as stems roots and leaves non living things such as tables chairs balls or clothes do not reproduce at all all living things get old and die all living things such as humans animals and plants live for a short or a long time they all grow from babies become old and finally die humans live for a long time while different animals have different life spans such as a dog lives for about 12 years plants also have a different life span some trees such as people and banyan live for a very long time non living things do not have a life and so they do not grow and die know this the coco de mer plant produces the biggest seed it is a kind of coconut tree which grows in seychelles